CompTIA ITF Plus, FC 0-U61, Practice Exam. Questions 16 through 20. This video is part of our practice exam video series, and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 16. Which of the following best describes a common use for business data? The answer is A. Creating data reports. Creating data reports is a primary use for business data because reports provide a structured and comprehensible way to analyze, visualize, and interpret data. Businesses rely on these reports to make informed decisions, track performance, identify trends, and understand their market or operations better. By converting raw data into actionable insights through reports, companies can strategize and operate more effectively. Question 17. A user struggles to access the internet via a web browser, yet they can receive emails and instant messages. Which of the following actions should the user take to best address the problem? The answer is B. Verify the proxy configuration settings. Verifying the proxy configuration settings is the recommended action because a misconfigured proxy can prevent a web browser from accessing the internet while other services, like email and instant messaging, remain unaffected. A proxy server acts as an intermediary between the user's computer and the internet. If the settings are incorrect, the browser might not be able to navigate to websites. By ensuring these settings are correctly configured, the user can restore proper web browsing functionality. Question 18. An organization needs to design a policy that will guarantee workers can't deny certain actions. Which of the listed security concepts does this depict? The answer is A. Non-repudiation. Non-repudiation refers to a security principle that ensures an individual cannot deny or dispute the authenticity of their actions or transactions. In the context of the organization's policy, non-repudiation ensures that workers are held accountable for their specific actions, making it impossible for them to claim they didn't perform a particular task or operation. This concept is crucial for maintaining integrity and accountability in various processes, especially in digital transactions and communications. Question 19. Once a solution has been applied to a user's system, which step in the troubleshooting process should be performed next? The answer is A. Verify full system functionality. After implementing a solution to a user's system, the next step in the troubleshooting process is to verify full system functionality to ensure that the implemented fix not only addresses the initial problem but also doesn't introduce new issues or adversely affect other system functions. This step confirms that the solution is both effective and comprehensive, ensuring the system operates as intended without any unforeseen complications. Question 20. A programmer inserts a query within a software application. The query will be used by the application to retrieve data from a database. This scenario illustrates. The answer is C. Database programmatic access. Database programmatic access refers to the ability of software applications to interact with a database using embedded queries or commands. In the given scenario, the programmer's action of inserting a query within the application to fetch data from a database exemplifies this concept. It showcases how applications can be designed to directly communicate with and extract information from databases programmatically. Now, did you stumble on any of these questions? If you did, no worries, it happens. Just remember, our free CompTIA ITF Plus training course is your secret weapon to mastering these topics. Access it through our YouTube channel, anytime you feel the desire to learn more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.